with God. <laughs> we are in a generation where we have many men of God, but they have no God. So there is a long journey before you that will need you not only to be a man of God, but you need to be a man of God and with God. You may have your wonderful seats. Now listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody can follow Jesus when everything is okay. We all sing this wonderful song, I've decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow God. I've decided to follow Jesus. But will you still follow him when the storms, all hell is breaking loose? See how we shout, how we get excited when we sing, I've decided to follow Jesus. Your mama sang this song, your papa sang this song, your sisters are singing this song, your brothers are singing this song, but I have a question for you. Will you still follow him when the storm shows up at your door, when all hell is breaking loose, when you are, your name is on the breaking news? When your name is all over, when your name is being scandalized all over, will you still sing, I have decided to follow Jesus? It's my prayer that my generation will develop a fire to know God more and a desire for God than what God can do for them. We are misleading the body of Christ because no one wants to, uh, to know God. We are all having a fire for the miracles. But God whom I do not know can perform a miracle for me. And let me remind you, miracles are for the non-believers. Because if you are a child of God, you don't need God to perform so that you can believe in him and worship him. Non-believers need miracles so that they can run to God. So quickly now to our text today. There are two groups of people in this text. So for your understanding of this text, allow me to talk to you about these two groups of people. We have the persecutors and we have the Jews. We have the disciples who have been mentored and trained by Jesus. I want you to follow me. I'm laying a foundation. I'm dealing with the theological part of the text so that I can have to talk to you for your full understanding of the text because when it comes to the Bible, you have to read it through the Spirit, you have to use the Spirit of God as a mirror to read the Scripture for your own understanding. And that's why God is not understood. God is revealed. And for God to reveal himself to the created creature, the Holy Spirit has to be a mirror. So now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a drift there are agreements and there are fights between the disciples who were mended by Jesus, the disciples who were raised by Jesus, and Apostle Paul. And everybody is uh, playing around to prove a point. Uh, they had Jesus' experience and like Paul who has only gone through the transformation. So, uh, Paul has the experience of the Holy Spirit while the disciples who were raised by Jesus and discipled by Jesus, they have experience of Jesus and experience of the Holy Spirit.